again, this is not a, a product that I use quite a bit, but it is a, a service that I signed up for when they launched, I don't know, a year or so ago, maybe longer, and have since um, you know, kind of played with it a little bit. And I'm just growing increasingly more uh, excited about the power and the potential. Now, I would not, just as a quick aside, uh, move our course platform off of where it is now uh, and, and move it to Lemon Squeezy. Uh, but I would certainly uh, add all of our digital downloads from, you know, WooCommerce, from Gumroad, et cetera, uh, especially the free stuff uh, onto Lemon Squeezy and test it. So I'm going to show you really quickly how you can do this on WordPress. Let's look very fast at this first step, which is you need to install the uh, Lemon Squeezy plugin. And you, I've already done that. But the way that you do that quite simply is go into your back end, your WordPress back end, just type in Lemon Squeezy. You can see I've done that already before. It comes up here right away. It's active and installed, but you'll just have to activate it uh, or install it first. And then just click this button here, which will say activate. And then you'll have the same experience as I do. So let's go into the uh, lemon squeeze the little dashboard here within WordPress. And as you can see, there are only two steps connect to lemon squeezy, which is uh, you're logged in to lemon squeezy your account. And then you're going to simply click on the little button here, which says, you know, synchronize or um, connect or whatever it says. And then immediately your uh, lemon squeezy account is synced with your WordPress uh, installation. All right. So that's been done. So let's really quickly go, uh, you know, into our posts editor. We're going to add a post. The other thing that's really appealing about Lemon Squeezy to me is that you can manage a ton of different stores or at least a number of different stores under one account without having to log into various, you know, different accounts. Gumroad used to make that really a pain in the ass. Like if you had multiple, uh, you know, Gumroad accounts for different niches, uh, you know, you'd have to log into each one separately. I still think Gumroad's a great product. I don't want to disparage uh, what they've built, but I think Lemon Squeezy for a variety of reasons that you can find you know, online. If you search for a comparison between the two, I think you'll find most folks or many folks are making the switch from Gumroad to Lemon Squeezy. All right, so let's really quickly Okay, so that's the title of the post. We're going to just add a block. Now, because you have this plugin installed, you just click on this and it brings up this really nice, you know, like uh, interface, which allows you to first pick which of your stores that you want to actually, uh, you know, kind of tap into. And, and, and for those of you who are used to like working with MailChimp lists or, you know, different segments on different email service providers, you'll recognize this sort of interface in this a particular uh, example, I'm just going to pick the 2023 MPAS Survival Guide Collection. This is really a, a test product that someone else in our community was selling on Gumroad. Um, and we're going to, there's three different products on Lemon Squeezy we can pick from here. So we're just going to pick, I don't know, I'm going to start with that. All right, and then you can either set it as an overlay or set it, I guess, uh, on the default setting, which is going to have a button that you'll be, you're about to see what that looks like from a user experience standpoint. All right, download the poster. This is actually the text that you just saw me enter. We're going to click on this. There's the poster. Here's my email address. It's a free product. I'm going to download the content. And now I'm um, into the back end of my order, which allows me to download it here. And there you have it. There's a poster from within our uh, content collection for you know spiritually sensitive people. Again, this is not necessarily my primary interest, but there's a whole a contingent within our community who's very interested 
in this sort of content. And one of the folks who works in our community, uh, you know, creates content around, uh, you know, empathic personality type, uh, you know, sensitive people, et cetera, et cetera. And this is very popular stuff within the community. All right. So let's go back really. Let's go back. All right, so there is the product. And of course, you could, you know, dress it up quite a bit so it doesn't look so sparse. Turn the sidebar off so it's a more conversion centric post. You get the idea. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> oh God, this cough is killing me. That's hopefully that's not true. It's probably a bad omen thing to say during a the tail end of a pandemic. All right, let's try the checkout overlay instead, so you can see what that looks like as well. And that just pops a modal window up. And I don't like that as much. I think it depends a little bit on your personal taste and preference. But for me, I like the other. Um, you know, I like the other checkout process better. Okie doke. So that's pretty much how to uh, use Lemon Squeezy in a nutshell within WordPress. Obviously, there's much to learn here, both for myself and other folks within our community. But, uh, you know, again, we're going to be teaching a course on, uh, you know, using this sort of non WooCommerce approach within WordPress to sell products using platforms like Lemon Squeezy, which I definitely highly recommend. Teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. Thank you as always so much for watching. And if you have questions, feel free to ask. Thanks.